Yes, hello and welcome to this latest televideo on how to set a timer relay. As the most of you might know, there's different types and different uh, sizes and shapes out there on the market, but pretty much all the timer relays work the same and the setup is very, very, very familiar. Now, let's have a look at how you can set up a timer relay based on our four function timer relay that Tele offers. In the end, you have a function dial to select your separate function. In this case, you have four functions that are integrated from an on delay function, an off delay, a shot triggered function, or a blinker. Now, all these functions have abbreviations, and you basically go ahead and select the function you would like on the bottom dial. Now, here you can see how the dial works. Uh, make sure you select, for example, E for an on delay, but we'll explain later on how exactly you can make sure that you have the function in place that you would like. Now most timer relays also have uh, the time adjustment dials um, so that you can select the time that you would like in your application to run. In this circumstance, this is the time end range. So let's say you know you want to have a time delay that's from hours or minutes or seconds. This is not a chance to set the time end range to seconds, minutes or hours. Now, in order to adjust the time in a fine manner, you get to select actually a percentage of your end range on the top dial here. Now, for example, if you have a 100 hour time delay and you set the top dial to 0.4, you get a percentage of that. Now, let's look how we can set a six hour on delay on our E1ZMQ10 timer relay so you can get an idea on how this could also work in real life. Now the first step would be to select function E, which stands for on delay. The second step would then be to think of, okay, what kind of time range do I need? The time range is determined by the dial in the middle and allows you to basically select your end range. Now, you will also have the chance um, to change that during your operation. But in our circumstance, since we wanna have a six hour time delay, we need to select something that is larger than six hours on the dial. Hence, we're selecting the 10 hour range in the middle dial. Now, actually always be careful that you don't overturn these dials because they can be very sensitive sometimes, especially if you rotate them 360 degrees, they don't like that at all. Now, sometimes these settings are also done by uh, dip switches, but in our circumstance, also the fine adjustment is basically done by the top dial and you select the percentage of that. In our circumstance, that would reach to 0.6. So that means 10 hours times 0.6 equals a six hour delay. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time. Leave a comment in the comment section or simply visit telecontrols.com. We're looking forward to reading from you.